Hello, my name is Thea. I'm a London-based photographer and filmmaker, and I create engaging and dynamic content for brands and social media. I began my photography journey back in 2014, but then I quite quickly transitioned into video because I found it a bit more challenging, maybe with that also a little bit more exciting. I like to create educational content and I provide value while also making them fun and dynamic. I think the reason I like to share my creative process and tell people how I do things is because I know that when I first started out, I really wish I had someone to tell me and give me some shortcuts, whether that was how to charge or what are the right camera settings or how do you need to make sure your composition looks good. And that's why I like to share my knowledge. I like to share my value because at the end of the day, I want people to perhaps step away from a conversation with me and feel better about themselves and feel like they learned something. I think when it comes to social media, it's really important to remember that there's lots of content being put out basically every minute or every day. So it's important to ask yourself, what is it that you can do to make you stand out? There's two things that truly make us out as people and make us unique, and these are our personality and our experience. So if you manage to combine those two with also your skills, I think this is an incredible combination of things that you can be hired for and be known for. I think when you have more followers and as you grow your social media platforms, you really start to think about what message you want to convey and what influence you want to have on others. So normally when it comes to YouTube, I focus more on putting out higher quality work. So for example, short films or really in-depth breakdowns. Whereas on Instagram, I also like to have fun. I sometimes would just post vertical vlogs about something that I did throughout the day that perhaps I want to remember. Instagram is a platform where I just share what I like to do more on a day-to-day -day basis. I think posting regularly on Instagram helps me get better at my craft because this means that I basically shoot every day or every other day. So when it comes to thinking what work I want to put out in the future, I would definitely say just more meaningful projects that actually can last a lifetime. For example, one thing that I really want to do in the next few years is make a documentary. My mom passed away around a year and a half ago. I filmed the whole process of how I was going through as a 20 year old losing my mom to cancer. So I know that potentially in a couple of years when, you know, I'm grieving easier, I know that that's something that will probably be the biggest project of my life. And this is the work that truly excites me. I need to do any kind of projects I can get my hands on because I will gain experience and through that I will travel, meet new people who will ultimately help me on my bigger productions. I think when it comes to giving advice to anyone that's younger or still a bit unsure what they want to do, my main advice would be to try as much as you can. When I was younger, I thought I was doing more sports. I was playing football, hockey, I was playing guitar. I tried piano. And just over time, when I was trying photography, I learned that this is what I liked. I know for myself that as soon as I was holding the camera, I felt like I was in control. It was challenging. It was just really exciting for me and that's kind of how I knew that this is what I wanted to do. To conclude, my advice is to try everything and never fail to stop trying. And then one time you will come to something that will literally make you feel different. This is potentially when you know what is it that it's your purpose. <laughs>